Robert Marsh here in Hazel, Texas, and I'm watching Wonderless Estates. Woo! Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Last night was such a mild night, I didn't even put out the generator because of how mild the temperature was. It actually got down to the high 60s last night, which is just awesome since lately. I just had the fan running in there. It's already starting to get a little hot today, so it looks like that's not gonna be the norm. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be. You know, we're getting ready for August here in Texas. August is, good, is the worst month. It's gonna get blister in here. I really wanna get out of here. And today I'm supposed to be checking out a lady's van here in just a few minutes uh, she needed some work done it I want to see what it looks like and whether I think I'd be able to help and stuff like that and oh uh, it'd be nice to earn a little bit and um, be able to help somebody she had had some troubles with uh, somebody else and I got contacted by a viewer about it so we'll we'll find out what whether I can help out and whether I want to tackle it or not. That didn't go so well with that lady. I have absolutely no interest in working with her. I see why she had a problem with the other guy. I imagine she's a nice person, but uh, in a quarter mile, turn left onto Boyd Court. You know, it was going to be a problem. So, just personality-wise, and who I am and everything. So. I won't be helping her out but uh, I just signed on to DoorDash and immediately I got an order so headed over to Whataburger for my first order of the day I'm gonna stay around here in Azel where I'm at uh, see what I can pick up while I'm here because I need to go to my buddies for uh, a cookout this afternoon before I really really get focused in so and start doing hardcore deliveries it's usually pretty busy at night so we'll see how everything plays out i hope i do a lot better today than i did the last two days i uh you know they doordash restructured all the areas over here in fort worth and they're saturating the spot i was doing so well in now with drivers I think that's on purpose and so I may need to find a different area to work in uh, and I don't know Take the next right, then turn I don't know this area too well so we'll try we'll try today if things don't work out well today then I'll work on finding a different area I might do Arlington or Irving or something or just go downtown and try to work my Uber Eats orders. All right, just got done taking a little break from dashing. Uh, I uh, got invited to come over for a barbecue real quick. Now I'm headed to go edit up a video and then I'll be back to the dash. Let's do this, man. Let's see if I can double what I made yesterday. Okay, so just got wrapped up over here in the Starbucks doing my video editing. That should post here in a few minutes for you guys. And now I'm heading off to go and get in the spot that I was dashing yesterday. I know there's always a couple hours that are pretty decent in this little town called Azel. It's only a couple hours that are decent. So I'm gonna go up there make sure I can earn a little bit of money there. And then when that slows down and I'm not getting orders out there anymore, then I'll come back here to Lake Worth and just try my luck. And if I don't make enough today, then tomorrow I'm gonna go to downtown and just work Uber Eats until I get my 21, the 21 deliveries that I had still left knocked out and I can get my bonus so that'll catch me up on the rate that I needed to hold along with what I earned today should 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 do that maybe I'll be a day later or so from getting back to the road let's get her done it's highway time
Of course, as soon as I get just past it, that's when the offer will come in. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. It's four miles for 529, that makes my dollar a mile. It's not great, but uh, it's not bad. I'll still be pretty close to route back. It looks like I'll only have to go about three miles away. This here is the first order tonight. I didn't do real great this afternoon. I only, I only picked up like three orders, but I kind of started a little late and then I went and had a, a meal with a friend. So I didn't really work that long. All wrapped up tonight. Um, I did better than yesterday, but I'm not excited about it, but I didn't work a long time either. So earlier I made $24 before I went to the barbecue. And then uh, tonight I made uh, $50. So, you know, that's 74 bucks. And uh, I can't remember exactly how many hours I worked because I didn't watch this morning that close, you know. And uh, tonight, I only worked from 6.30 to, to uh, 9 o'clock. So, no, 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Usually with DoorDash, when you, when it's gray you can't schedule any time to to run orders but right now in the area i'm in even when it's gray which means it's not busy people can sign on they can schedule up and then sign on and dash so they got it they're basically flooding it here right now and i i had to turn down a lot of orders that weren't any good you know they didn't meet that dollar a mile so i can take off I'm kind of tired tonight too. Uh, I think I'm a little tiny bit under the weather, not terribly, but a little bit. And uh, my eyes kind of hurting, having the contacts in this long. But I can't, I can't do anything on the computer or anything like that anymore without them. You know, I used to be able to have the computer or phone like right in my face and I could still do some stuff. I can't do that anymore. Well guys, since I've been feeling a little under the weather, I'm gonna use some NyQuil tonight. And hopefully when I wake up, I'll be square again. <laughs> but I got a little bit of a sore throat, got a m real mild chest congestion. I think the reason why I've been feeling so rough the last few days is just because I've been feeling a little sick. My buddy was just sick. He had some crud that lasted for like a week, 10 days. Yeah, I'm calling it. It's official. I'm feeling under the weather. Uh, sore throat's a little worse and stuff. Uh, I am think I'm going to go and find some shade, fire, get some fuel, fire on the AC today. Just, just kind of sit in it and see if I can take some more NyQuil and sleep a little bit more today. Uh, work a little bit tonight, but not push it too much and uh, see if I don't feel better. I just filled up with fuel and stuff, both the generator and the van. I'm going to go over here to the Starbucks, edit up your video, and then I'm going to go and find myself somewhere to just chill. I think there's a park up here on the lake that should be pretty nice. All right, guys, just finished up the video, so you'll have that here in a little bit. And I am going to go and find that little park that I keep seeing when I'm driving the highway here and see if I can't get me a little bit of shade and fire up the Jenny and take me a long nap. This looks like a good a spot as any, right here along the lake. I even got a nice shade tree here, so I'm hoping this will keep shaded for a while. Set up my generator and see if I can't get some sleep. Talk about confirmation that I was really tired. I slept all the way until now and uh, it's almost midnight. so. I had eight hours, of, almost eight hours sleeping here next to the lake. Now I gotta pack stuff up here and head on out. Technically, I'm not supposed to be in the park anymore since the park closes at 11 and it's getting close to midnight. Oh, what the heck, man? It's red now, means I can dash. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna eat myself up this chicken here. And then uh, go run on over and get a shower, hit the sack, 
again, you know, and then hopefully I'll be feeling like a million bucks tomorrow. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce the world suck. Peace, guys.